Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we are checking out the Storm Curse Revenge set. This is a new set from the Sending Tide DLC. On SO-Up.com you can go to the DLC and chapter page. You will see Ascending Tide will launch on March 14th for PC. And I think a week or two later on console. It is, let's see here, it is one of the new sets. There's a lot of new DLC sets and they also implement new Imperial City and new Reverse of the Worthy sets. So there's a lot of new sets next week. This one drops in Shipwright's Regret, an amazing dungeon, and it is Light Armor. So what does it do? It adds Max Magicka, Weapon Spell Damage, Penetration, Ooh, that's nice. And then the five piece, when you deal shock damage, you have a 15% chance to deal 1928 shock damage to the enemy and up to two other enemies within five meters. This effect scales off the higher of your weapon or spell damage. <clears throat> now let's actually see how this looks like. Oh, now you, did you see the tick? It hit these two here. And again. <clears throat> now let's take a look at... Wait, does it say how much damage? 1928. Oopsie. Uh, there we go. Don't curse revenge. Yeah, the max. So it created for 2770. When you deal shock damage, you have a 15% chance to deal... <laughs> 1928 shock damage to enemies and up to I don't know why it's limited to two players it doesn't have a cooldown maybe a one second hidden cooldown but if you have a lot of shock abilities let's actually check that we can apply a few more dots hmm this one applies damage over time and we can use force pulls, which also has shock damage. Other than that, I don't think, I guess we can also drop the ulti. Actually, no. So let's see, when I apply a few dots. So you can proc fairly often, I guess, like on a Magicka Sorcerer, you have a lot of lightning abilities. It could actually deal a decent damage. But like with most other sets in the Sanding Tide DLC, there's just better sets than this. So like, I don't really see this being used. So let's see, yeah. It actually dealt decent damage. So who knows, we'd have to do some more testing, but I just don't see like how this will be better than any of the other endgame sets. It might be cool to use for some niche setups, right? If you really want to create like a storm build, which focuses on that kind of stuff on a Sorg, then it could definitely be worth it. But other than that, I just feel like there's better sets out there. Time will tell. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. At least it doesn't have a cooldown, I have to say this. Yes, it only has a 15% chance, but at least we don't get like a 10 or 15 second cooldown like with most other sets. So the more shock abilities you have, the more often it will proc. So at least it has that going for it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that juicy like button. Cheers.